sometimes I'll look outside during the summer and it's hot and it's hazy and you just know the air is unhealthy. Yeah, I've been coaching for about 11 years, so when it's a spare of the air day, I know whether or not I can have the kids even outside running or walking or can't be at it all. When the air is bad, I worry about my own health, but I also worry about the health of my granddaughters. The Sacramento County Air Pollution Control District was established on December 7, 1959 by the Sacramento County Board of Supervisors and began full operations the following year. During the 1980s and 90s, the district experienced a lot of organizational growth. In 1984, a separate Department of Air Pollution Control was established within Sacramento County's Environmental Management Department. Then in 1988, Assemblyman Lloyd Connolly sponsored AB 4355, which created what is now known as the Sacramento Metropolitan Air Quality Management District. As the mid-90s arrived, the state legislature passed the Hauser Bill, expanding the AQMD's board to include city representation, and in 1996, the district separated from Sacramento County government and began operations as a fully independent district. As program needs grew, the AQMD moved its offices to 777 12th Street, located in the heart of downtown Sacramento in 1999. One reason this property was selected was because it allowed district staff to practice what they preached. Sitting on a light rail line, surrounded by bus stops, 73% of employees now use an alternative form of transportation for their work commute. Not to mention they can walk, bike, or take transit to the meetings and many inspections that we have in the downtown area. Staff are committed to the district's mission of achieving clean air and protecting public health and the environment. Whether working in administrative services, rule development, planning and air monitoring, permitting and enforcement, land use, communications, vehicle and engine technology, or incentives, each person is dedicated to making the air cleaner for all of us to breathe. While the district's first air monitoring station began measuring particulate matter at a site in South Sacramento, the monitoring network now consists of 11 sites throughout the county. This equipment monitors ground level ozone, nitrogen dioxide, carbon monoxide, volatile organic compounds, particulate matter, and weather conditions. Sacramento County has attained health standards for carbon monoxide and lead along with the federal standard for coarse particulate matter. And with changing state and federal health standards for ozone and fine particulate matter, the district is making significant progress toward achieving those standards while lowering daily exposure to unhealthy air. The AQMD knows the value of community partnerships. In order to reduce air pollution, it takes the dedication of many organizations and individuals. The district's done a great job of educating the public about the little things that we do every day that cause pollution. Cars and trucks cause 70% of our ozone pollution problem. A key partner is the Cleaner Air Partnership. It was formed in 1986 by the American Lung Association of Sacramento, Emigrant Trails, and the Sacramento Metropolitan Chamber of Commerce. We saw a need for business, health, environmental and community leaders to successfully work to provide the region with cleaner air while fostering economic development. A subcommittee of the group wrote the first public outreach proposal in 1989. This was the catalyst for the successful Spare the Air program. Starting in 1994 as a Sacramento County program and expanding regionally in 1995, Spare the Air asks residents to reduce their driving and eliminate trips in order to reduce pollution. Many innovative projects have grown from the Spare the Air campaign over the years, including Air Alert, a daily email giving people the air quality forecast along with advisories. Ozone Maps, the AQMD introduced the nation's first real-time maps which quickly became part of local weathercasts. Smog City, an award-winning online air pollution simulator. And Save Planet Paluto, an award-winning CD-ROM game for kids. Over the last 15 years, many Spare the Air images and messages have been used through television, radio, and public outreach to educate the community about the importance of reducing driving to help protect the health of all residents. Here's what the well-dressed man is wearing. Don't let it come to this. If someone poured you a drink that contained carbon monoxide, nitrogen oxides, reactive hydrocarbons, benzene and other toxic pollutants, you wouldn't drink it, would you? Then why do you put up with breathing it every day? You could ride your bike, 
or take public transportation. The valley we live in is a bowl. Growing up here is great, except for one thing, ozone. Usually, it's easy for parents to identify the dangers that could potentially harm their kids. You can't always see the pollution that threatens your child's young developing lungs, making even the most innocent places potentially dangerous ones. Public awareness is high. Most of the people in the region know the Spare the Air message. 73% have heard it, and I think most people know that we have to work together to make this happen. The district has established and maintained strong partnerships with many organizations to improve air quality. These include the air districts of the Sacramento region, representing El Dorado, Placer, Solano, Sutter, Yolo, and Yuba counties, the Sacramento Metro Chamber, Breathe California of Sacramento, Emigrant Trails, the American Lung Association, regional transit and other transit providers in the region, the Cleaner Air Partnership, the Sacramento Area Council of Governments, numerous community groups such as Sacramento Area Bicycle Advocates and Walk Sacramento, and other neighborhood organizations. While asking people to drive less, is essential to achieving our air quality goals. It's also important uh, that the business community comply with the regulations uh, and that we have successful enforcement. In the beginning, the district regulated large industrial sources such as factories. Through the years, more rules have been developed to control emissions from smaller sources, including gas stations, boilers, incinerators, auto body shops, print shops, and more. Targeting these smaller sources has significantly reduced emissions. By regulating both small and large facilities, the district has reduced VOC emissions by 60 tons per day and NOx emissions by 20 tons per day since 1975. The Compliance Assistance Program was put in place by the district in 1998. It's designed to give businesses needing to comply with air quality regulations the opportunity to find out how to go about it without uh, an atmosphere of uh, heavy-handed enforcement, but also leading to higher levels of compliance. So it works for both business and for the district. The district now has over 2,100 permitted facilities with over 4,100 active permits. Enforcement staff inspect each facility once a year, although a facility may be inspected more often due to source tests, violations, or complaints. But it isn't just our business community that must shoulder the responsibility to reduce pollution. In 2007, the Board of Directors passed Rule 421, which eliminates burning in fireplaces when air pollution is forecast to be elevated. Since almost 50% of fine particulate matter in the wintertime comes from wood smoke, this law has definitely improved air quality and improved the health of the public during the winter months. The district manages several incentive programs to improve air quality. Some benefit fleet owners, truck operators, and those owning heavy-duty equipment. Through fleet modernization, replacement, repower, or retrofit, the Sacramento Emergency Clean Air and Transportation Program, or CCAT, has successfully reduced nitrogen oxides and particulate matter from nearly 2,700 on-road heavy-duty vehicles. The fleet modernization portion of the program, a first of its kind, has been used as a template for other areas of California and the nation. In addition, the Carl Moyer program and the district's own heavy-duty incentive program have repowered or retrofitted tractors and agricultural pumps, scrapers, and railroad locomotives. AQMD has had a long-term commitment to removing gross polluting school buses from the road. Well, making school buses cleaner has been one of our commitments since 1997. We have a responsibility to protect children's lungs while they ride the bus to school. Therefore, the district regularly provides money for retrofitting, repowering, and purchasing school buses in the entire region. Other incentive programs benefit individual households. Thousands of consumers in Sacramento County have taken advantage of two such programs. Mow Down Air Pollution, another first in the Sacramento Air Basin, started by the AQMD, lets residents turn in a gas lawnmower and buy a non-polluting electric mower at a big discount. Since it began in 1997, this annual spring program has crushed over 13,000 gas mowers, ensuring they don't continue to pollute. The district also provides funding for residents to replace polluting wood stoves and traditional fireplaces with cleaner burning units, including gas or electric. Not only does this help with Rule 421 compliance, the wood burning rule, it also improves the air quality in someone's home and neighborhood. This program will greatly reduce the health effects people experience in the winter due to particulate matter. 
Looking back over the past 50 years, the Sacramento Metropolitan Air Quality Management District has consistently played a vital role in improving air quality and public health in the community. The district continues to demonstrate strength and strategic planning for Sacramento County and the region. However, the AQMD's leadership and influence extends far beyond. Current Executive Director Larry Green and former Executive Director Norm Cavell have acted as President of the California Air Pollution Control Officers Association. Mr. Cavell also served as President of the National Association of Clean Air Agencies, and Mr. Green is that organization's current president. Looking to the future, there are many challenges, but there are also many opportunities. As we move forward, the district is poised to tackle new ways to reduce emissions, including sustainable land use planning, complete streets, and urban farming. It will be a blend of old and new strategies along with our efforts related to climate change that will enhance our role of reducing air pollution in the community. The Sacramento Metropolitan Air Quality Management District is a recognized clean air leader in California and throughout the nation. While the fight against air pollution continues, the district stands ready to reach the ultimate goal, clean, healthy air for every man, woman, and child in Sacramento County.